Well, hi, this is Custom Works. I'm Clint Allen, and today we're going to be talking about the air intake heater on your 7.3 power stroke. Now, keep in mind that this is only for 99 and a half through 2003, but if you got the OBS, stick around, soak it in. What the, <laughs> the f*** are you doing? <laughs> it's to be a well, thanks for sticking around through that. As I promised, we're going to be talking about the air intake heater. And this is a little heating element that is located in the Y-pipe, uh, intake Y-pipe, H-pipe, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> but either which way. Pictures in the back of where it's located. And if you are having issues with this unit, you're gonna throw a PO code of 0541, and that's gonna be voltage too low, or 0542, and that's voltage too high. Now, if this is something that you are in a very cold climate, and you think you're having problems with it and you want to test it, easiest way to do it is remove it from the manifold, rehook the wires back up, and just jump the solenoid. Uh, obviously, don't be holding it, but you'll be able to feel the heat coming off of it, and that'll tell you that it's working just fine. But, this is one of those, do you really actually need it? That's the question here. Once again, if you're in a very cold climate, this is something that you probably do want to keep installed in the truck. There's all kinds of talk on the old internet of people saying, well, you know, it restricts 20% of the air. Well, if you understand dynamics and air movement, uh, it's not actually causing a restriction of 20% of the air. The air does go around that. Is there some restriction? Yeah, a little bit. Nothing to get bent out of shape about. But either if you're in the cold climate, this is something that you probably want to consider that you may want to keep installed on the truck. And when I mean cold climate, I'm talking like northern Canada, northern, you know, or Alaska, you know, really cold, cold areas. Uh, that's probably where this is only going to be beneficial to you. For everybody else, um, and I don't normally do this, but this is something that can go. You don't need it. Uh, it's really, there, there's, a, so there's whole, a whole lot of stuff that has to go on here in order for this to even activate. Uh, the engine temperature sensor is going to have to tell the computer that it's zero degrees Celsius out. The engine oil temperature sensor is going to need to tell the computer that it's under 55 degrees Celsius. Transmission's got to be in neutral or park. That's a given. If you have a manual transmission, some genius figured out that you need to have the parking brake on in order for it to engage. Basically, this doesn't actually get used that much. The whole concept is, is that in extremely cold temperatures, upon startup, after the glow plugs kick out, this unit heats the air and stops any type of white smoke. You know, uh, <laughs> if you're plugging in your truck, you're never going to have to, uh, this unit is never going to actually kick in. Uh, even if you don't plug in your truck, you got the glow plugs that warm the cylinder head, you start it on up, and just a couple minutes, you're good to go anyways. So there's going to be a quick tutorial after this on 
how to remove it, sizes of the wrenches, stuff like that. Normally we would save this for our hands-on video series that is in the makings and coming in the future. But this right here is so easy that we're just going to throw the tutorial out there real quick. Now, it's very important that whether you're disconnecting exhaust back pressure, uh, if you're disconnecting this right here, the computer has to realize a certain amount of ohms. Now, the computer runs somewhere around that 456 ohms, 470 ohm area. This delete, you're still going to have to tell the computer that things are copacetic. In the listing below in the description is going to be a website for Mauser Electronics. The resistor is about uh, uh, about a buck eighty plus shipping, and nothing you know out of the norm here. Uh, where you took the positive off of the solenoid or relay, whichever you want to call it, where that positive cable came off, you would just install a wire along with the resistor and hook it to ground and that'll tell the computer that, hey, everything's cool and you're not going to be throwing any ghost codes or causing any other type of runnability issues. With that, we'll move on to the quick tutorial. Hope you enjoy that. Well, I hope that was good enough information for you to be able to do any type of delete if you wish. And I hope you've learned something today. And you take it easy and you have a good day.